brain cancer. And today I'm going to show you how to get good audio for your videos on a Mac, even if you don't have the best microphone. So first of all, if you want to start recording gameplay footage or whatever on your Mac computer, um, then you're going to have to install a program called Line In. And this is because uh, ever since some Mac update, I think it was Lion, app developers aren't allowed to like get into like the sound output, input settings, whatever. So you can't record your system sound and your microphone sound at the same time. And usually you're only allowed to record a mic sound. So um, first two programs are Line In here. Download it. Just click there. All these links are going to be in the description. And next is Soundflower. Again, it's going to be in the description. And okay, so Soundflower basically adds two two separate audio channels for your MacBook that you can use as output and input. And then Line In is basically routing one audio source to another audio source. Now, if I can find the video that told me how to do this, then I will try and put it in the description because I wasn't the one that came up with this. So anyways, once you get them, downloads. Let's bring this over here. I'm in a dual screen. That's why I have that. You have Audacity, you have Line In, and you have Soundflower. Now, just double click Soundflower. And then just open that up. I already have it installed, obviously, since I'm recording this. And then you have Line In. And now you have to copy and paste this four times, or three times. So you have four uh, instances of line in, as you can see in my applications folder. I have line in one, two, three, and four. And that is like just four different reroutes of sound. So once you set up Soundflower, you're going to go into your sound preferences. For your output, you're going to put it to two channel. Um, I'm not doing this right now because there's only my voice in this video. But you're going to set the output to two channel. You're going to set the input to whatever you want. Now, for the four line ins here, you're going to have two channel to digital out. So, what this does is because you're outputting to two channel, you're rerouting all the sound that's going to your system back into your ears. Now it's done digital out because I'm on a headset right now. And when you go into advanced, everything's set on default. Now the second one, you're routing two channel into 16 channel. Now 16 channel is the sound that uh, Audacity is going to be recording. So if you go to advanced, we need to set this to channel four and five on the output settings. I'll explain that in a bit. And then here we go from 16 channel to digital out. And this is if you're recording Skype calls. So no, go to advanced and just make sure to set that to one and two. I'm not sure if that's entirely necessary, but that's just so that you don't get feedback from yourself. And then from here, you're going to get your microphone to two channel and you go to advanced and you set the 16 channel to channel three on Soundflower. Now Soundflower 16 channel, like it suggests, has 16 channels of audio for, I guess, advanced editing, which we are kind of doing now. I'll explain this in a minute also. So then you are going to get Audacity. This is free. This is great for editing audio things. Um, and if we go to downloads, it is right here. Once again, open it up. Go there and install it, or just copy and paste it into your applications folder. Now we are going to open up Audacity. Open up Audacity. There we go. Once again, I'm on dual screen, and this uh, built-in output. We don't have to mess with that. But you're going to set the input, the microphone, to Soundflower 16 channel and choose five channels to record from. Now you're almost done 
and you can use basically any audio or any video recording software that you get off the App Store for about $10, which is much better than Fraps, although you can't really pirate any software for Mac. But it's $10, so it doesn't even really matter. And last thing is you go to your Skype preferences, but audio, video, and you put your microphone as whatever your microphone is going to be, and you put your ringing on your output so that you don't hear anyone messaging you in your video, which is, I think, a really nice feature. And the speakers go to 16 channel. Now, there's no way you can edit like where the sound goes, so that's why uh, Skype takes up channels 1, 2, your microphone takes up channel 3, and then your headset takes up channels 4 and 5. Um, that is basically it. Now you can just press record, and then you can press your record on your software, which I am running right now. And, yeah, so, as you can see, oh, wait, before you do that, you need to click pass through for each one of these. Hello, hello, hello. And I'm also going to set this to channel. There we go. You can see my headset. I'm talking, so the sound's going through there. And now we're also going to call... Um, where is it? Skype test call. Skype <laughs> test. Skype test call. There we go. So as we Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. See, there we go. There's Skype taking up one and two, my microphone taking up three and four, and uh, we can probably hang out right there. Um, and something to demonstrate system sounds. I guess we can just um, go to YouTube, we can go to, um, sure, Minecraft Podcast. Mmm, are you shoulders tense? Do you need to just sit back and relax? There we go, relax? Minecraft taking Why don't you just have a seat and, there? Uh, four and five. Minecraft. There you go. And then once you're done, just click stop, click stop on your recording program. And we are going to go back to the beginning. Now, if we play this, so as we record. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. See, there we go. There's Skype taking up one and two. My microphone taking up three. Okay, so my microphone's actually positioned fairly well, but if you saw my last few videos, you'll know that there was this really bad sound of fan. I think. It might be because of my fan, but um, from there, you can say Analyze, Effect, or sorry, yeah, Effect. You can click Noise Removal. Uh, sorry, you want to just select a portion of this, but since there's no background noise, it's not going to do anything. But we can go Noise Removal, get Noise Profile, and then you're going to select only that track, and you can remove all the noise from that track only. And then if, say, your friends have some like bad microphones, you can also do the noise removal only on their channels, and then the uh, your in-game sounds are untouched, which is really, really nice. And then what you can do is you can... You can set this as the left channel, and this as the right channel, I believe. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, you set this, this is left and this is right. And then you can go to here, this is your microphone, and you can set this to mono. And then you can set this to left and this to right. And then after you export it, let's just do that. Um, 
how do you share export and we're going to save it as audio one on my desktop yeah because and once you've edited the nice yeah you've edited them them not you uh, you have a bear, bear you have edited them nicely so mix down to two stereo channels in the export file there we go and audio one right there there we go and now um slightly more advanced you've had your audio and you've had your video and if you're like me and you're doing a lot of cutting um that's gonna get fairly annoying to press both of them at the same time so here i have made a um apple script script <laughs> an apple script script i don't know but um what this basically does is it tells audacity to activate and then it tells it to start recording which is shift command r for my program for your program it might be different and then it gives half second delay because for some reason my program takes some time to start up and then it sets uh, audacity to the window that's in front and it's going to press R. So bas basically what this does is as soon as I run this, then it's going to start recording. And then as soon as I run this, it's going to stop recording. And um, I guess I'll also paste both of these in the description. And I think that is it. You have set up your Skype. audios, you set up your microphone audios, you set up your system sound, you have it all synced up, there's just a little bit of manual work after, but it's a lot better than heavy audio editing. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a rating, please share and favorite if you found this helpful, if you're finding this off reddit, please go back and give it a nice upvote karma thing, whatever, yeah, thank you for listening. Goodbye.